fashion and technology has been going together for many many years but yes we haven't explored it that much and with watson coming in you know and offering so many ways of doing things differently i think technology and fashion can be now uh, you know talked about and it's more practical to use technology in fashion and then you know a lot of show outfits if you remember you know were done with led lights and stuff you know so i think it's it's been happening but yeah now it'll be more easier to ha- have technology infused in fashion i think it was a great opportunity to push our comfort zone you know and to broaden our horizon and broaden our outlook actually see watson really has lots of data stored with it and oh, we you know when we put in lots of pictures of bollywood and and celebrities and and fashion and the silhouettes and fashion shows we fed it with all the data available and then we gave certain pointers so it's basically like a higher intelligence working for you and telling you okay these are the trends and this is what will work these silhouettes have worked so it basically does all the research what you would have to do and put in the man hours in it is just that it's done and it's done so fast that you know you can think of something and by the time you have the answer so it's really very convenient where you can explore to the limits of what otherwise you'd not be able to do with the huge data bank that we worked with Watson from the runways of New York London Paris and Milan and what we've got from that it wouldn't have been physically possible or rather the time spent on it to search and analyze the data that they've given us whether it is uh, a silhouette or whether it's a color or whether it's a trend or even for example a print you know it's made us it's made it so simplified that you get it all in one window the coolest part of using IBM Watson is that it allows you to travel back and forth in time and space in mere seconds the coolest part working with what IBM Watson is that Watson works with mountains of data and this data is messy and it's unstructured and Watson makes it relevant 